Hi guys, welcome back to Geronimo's Kitchen. So today we are filming live and direct out of Florida. So the last episode you saw where Dougie and Sheldon and I went out on the high seas. I was a strong one. We caught some swimmers, right? Some huge, huge swimmers. Our little friend James, he filleted them. So today, this episode is about cooking them. So Geronimo's Kitchen, we decided we're gonna cook them two ways. So let's call it fish two ways. We're going to have a nice little fillet, lightly simmered, steamed with some okras, and so that shell and pick up in a Jamaican store in Florida. You know, Jamaican, we love our little spices and all our herbs and stuff. So we have our okra, we have, we, what do you call this again? Thyme, smell good, you fresh. Then we have some scallion, very nice. We have carrot, you know how we see it, we like to add little things. So we might not be a yard, but we find them same way. Coconut milk. Um, cocoa, leche, the cocoa. All right, and of course we're at an Airbnb, so we don't have all our spices on deck, but this is actually a good one. In the cupboard, we found quite a few things: black pepper. We have Mrs. Dash. Who they selling called Dash? Big up yourself, Dash, my friend from chance, yeah. But anyways, garlic, salt. We have cayenne pepper. We have crushed pepper, onion powder, everything. We have extra virgin olive oil. You know, we like the virgins. The good stuff then in an Airbnb. So I just added that in a bowl. We're making a little blend. I'll just throw some in for you because I already had them already. But since we don't like see when we add things together, watch us. A little crushed pepper. All right. A little black pepper here. And I look like you know what? Come on. I mean, I mean, I'll use it right here. Oh, look at that. So we're just going to, all right, get some crushed, cracked pepper in there all right that's just for symbolism all right but i don't know anything you know about the yard if i like a seasoned salt and so little pepper touch on it use on the hub you don't have to be as fancy as us then i'm just going to take the hand that god gave me just mix it up all right lovely oh lord good to go all right so you know them fancy cooler here come right on show them like cooler you know them fancy cooler we don't each other down from paris we're gonna Oh my god, that's some big fat juicy feeling. Show Sheldon like that. Make plenty of this Sheldon. Subscribe to Sheldon channel. Alright, watch here. So we're going to take the fillet, right? I want to get rid of the blood mark here. First, we're going to cut along this mark. Let's remove this part, alright? Throw that back in the cooler. And our friend James did a very good job. Come on. Our friend James did a very good job at filleting this. All the bones are gone, you can feel it. He cut beautifully. But what we're going to do, we're going to cut it into pieces. Right? So we're just going to slice at an angle. So we're making like little steaks, eh? Yeah? How much fillets do we have? How much fillet do we have? Mm. 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 Yeah, and we got like two, four, six, eight cuts out of one fillet. They're fish are the big in that they throat. Look at them. Nice, pure meat. This reminds me of like a little, yeah, the, the texture looks like a snapper fillet or something like that. I'm very interested. What, what kind of fish was it again? Uh, it was a golden amberjack. A golden amberjack. I don't think I've ever had that before, but I'm excited about it. So you can see it's very nice. The meat shows that it will be quite white and flaky, which is what I like in fish. We're just going to go ahead now, rinse these, dry them. Bam. All right, so we get our walker's wood jerk season. Take it, and we're just going to massage the rest of this, right? Get some seasoning on it, put it down, rub it, massage it. Oh, yes. Down. Oh, this is the hard part because we can't push it back in it, but we can do this here. Take it, just massage, rub, and massage it in. And this is for our jerk infused version of this amberjack. That's what you want, Shalom? Yep. Amberjack fillet straight from Miami Beach in Florida. We caught it ourselves, we did not buy it. Your last video, you know, I know all of you saw that. Right, bam, bam, bam. And I think that does it. I'm going to take some of this now and just rub it inside the whole one or inside, inside the head and so. You know, we like for fish head, 
Jamaican people, we don't eat only the body of the fish. We eat the head though. So we are all grilling real nice and so we can eat inside of the head. So take the seasoning. Look at that. That's what we like to see, perfectly seasoned. We're just going to put this away just to marinate for a little while we prep our veggies, our broccoli, our carrots, our uh, okras and everything for our skimmed amberjack filet. It's Geronimo's Kitchen, we're in Florida. We're having a good time. We are, it's sea to table. See to table. We're ready. Remember that. Remember to subscribe to my boy's uh, channel, you know, Sheldon C. Townsend. He's, he be out on the streets. Yeah, yeah. He be out on the streets. He's all over the world. Seychelles. He's got a whole lot of trips coming up. So you can follow him for that. But if you want the very best advice on travel uh, destinations and airports to travel through, little tips on airport uh, luxury airport lounges and that's, that's him over there show, 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 show over here. yeah yeah you can't me up on your channel actually look like him by the way let me see this here right here. <laughs> yeah but big up Sheldon big up Andy but what you must say Geronimo's kitchen yeah man I'm lying on time this is the right time come on I'm having a nice little IPA from Biscayne Bay right here in Miami, which is actually pretty tasty. Quite hoppy, nice, final, that nice little bitter finish, which is what I like. But anyways, enough about the beer, the prep work. I've already cut some broccoli and some um, carrots for you. A few little extra peeled potatoes. Wash all our veggies, okra and everything is ready. Now all I'm going to do is going to separate the veggies, potato. We just Roughly slicing some potatoes for our steamed fish. Right? Easy stuff at home. And of course, you don't have to use potatoes if you don't. You can use bami. If you look at my steamed fish episode, you'll see all the things I do. You can use bami, whatever you like. Other ground provisions, a little piece of yam, whatever you like. It's up to you. Today, we are lazy, we are in a foreign country, we can't get half of those things that we get at home. So we are just using what we have. So right now we are just, you know, cleaning some okra. We are just doing rough cuts on these things, rough cuts. No time for the pretty, pretty play. It will still look good on your head. Pretty. Now just say, one piece that fish. Mm hmm? Where in there? Jamaica. <laughs> if you are in there, Jamaica, you can't get none. Tell him, say. We left it up, I was following. Yeah, you should have stayed. You should have stay at uh, 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 Florida this weekend if you need one of it. Yeah, if you need one something, you should have stay at Florida. Should I get shell on for you? Come on now. What's your name, please? Go ahead and cut up there. Right, you're the one. Shell and I go on, trim up the okras while I cut. Never see shell and cook it by me. So all you have to do is take up here. Yeah. Good. So, yeah. Michelin rated. We are actually. Michelin rated what? Oh. Michelin rated what? Mm. What damn Michelin rated? Man. Right. So why you cut that? Just go and cut. Oh no! The knife is not. No use. So we're doing all of the the okras. Mm. Yeah, money, money. All right. Strung up back. You're a little more sleepish and okra body. Yeah. Easy caprizi. Yeah. Very good to have a sous chef here in the kitchen. <laughs> We're give him a jacket. Yeah, man. Ready, ready. Yeah, when you can't add to your channel doing that, man, is there a food aspect to it? As I see you do that already in New York, you're That's right. That's the plan, a food tour. Yeah. I actually filmed a video, um, Mexico City food tour with just street food um, in Mexico City. So we're not a job? Uh, when we don't edit it. <laughs> yeah, we're well, horrified editing people who want to sit in something. All right, so I have my scallions and thyme there. All cut, I'm just going to cut these scotch bonnet peppers. Just cut the cheeks off. Alright, we 
we want the heat and the flavor but we don't want too much heat so i'm going to leave this one middle and then cut the cheeks off the the uh throw this out. Yeah. you're done yeah someone in the world cutting a toast still cool. and too big all right awesome and this peeps this hot like fire then now you can scotch about it straight from Jamaica. Nothing hot so. But watch here. Everything is prepped. Okras and everything prepped over here. So right over here. So we have our veggies prepped. We're going to saute off for the jerk version. So we're just going to put that on the grill when it's done. We're just going to saute some broccoli. We have some butter. We'll find my people in the fridge. So we just have to take out some of this. Take out some of the butter, yeah? Drop it over the broccoli there. Eh? We're just going to saute this. I'm going to cover and get some garlic salt right away. Yeah. Let's open easy. Me, you can, it, it feel good though if you catch and actually cook something. Yeah. yeah. Some extra virgin olive oil right over there. Good. Yeah. And now we catch this. Yeah. It's quite satisfying if I may say so myself. And garlic salt all over that baby there. Mm -hmm. Good. Alright, there you have it. One last thing for the the version that's going to go on the grill. I'm just going to lay these out here. We're just going to drizzle some olive oil. Let me just wash my drizzle some oil. Okay, so should I do it like salt me under the... Uh, no, it so doesn't work. Alright, cool. Salt me, you know what I Salt me. I hope this isn't too much. Huh? hope this isn't too much. No, I think that's perfect. That's perfect. Alright, cool. Yeah. Iron Chef tones in at your service. Iron Chef. Just book me. Maybe we should get... I'm going to get this on. Are we here? So what we're going to do right away, before we even go to the grill, we're going to try to get our potatoes and okra on to steam. And when we're like halfway through and they're like halfway cooked, yeah, we're going to lay the fish right on top. Mm -hmm. right? So right away here we have our pot in the front on. Just get all of the extra virgin stuff right there inside. Beautiful. My mommy, yeah. You got to the lights and of these things, but I don't see any lights now. Let's see. That's heating up. Alright, so right here we have our aromatic flavor. Straight in. Right. We're just sauteing these, releasing all the those essential oils, the perfume, minty flavor of the thyme. Right here, bring them in. Scotch bonnet, pepper, or oh. You want to smell it in here right now in an instant. So what, once your heat goes, you know, it pulls all the oils out, all the flavor out of the, the scotch bonnet, all the flavor out of the thyme, everything out of the scallop, the scallions, all the oils, it just pulls them out. And then we're just going to add just a tad bit of butter to that for an, ah, just an extra creaminess, right? An extra creaminess to what we're, is going to be a nice little kind of simmering or sort of like a braising liquid for um, our fish. Otherwise, like if you add all of these veggies and herbs and such sort of boiling water, you won't get the same flavor. You want them to burn. You want them to, to, to the sauteing process pulls the flavors out. Then we're going to add our water. All right, you know what just simmer down. Then we're going to add coconut milk. Coconut milk. Oh, I don't want to try to throw this umbrella. Right? Take it. Coconut milk. I wonder why it's a coconut milk. I don't like that. You want to pay your bench before you do them? It's fine. I'll right, come on. I think I'll. Okay. Uh -huh. Alright, look here. So you know, there you are, some people, this is the part where they had them cocks, soap and all in something. Which part do they win on all in something? 
So we are adding some garlic salt. We are adding some Mrs. Dash. You know? Because the scotch bonnet and the thyme and them something they already have given it natural flavorings that we like. Right? So we are going to use the other things we have to just flavor it a bit. Right? And you know how rats must go, children. <laughs> show them show them more rasmus for tea steam. Oh rasmus for tea. Rasmus for your boss. Yeah, I boss man. You got rasmus by the way. When we take it, we're just testing for salt, yes? Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. Could I do a little more salt? So let's go with our garlic salt. I wanna kinda go hit hard up. Hmm. Yeah. My garlic salt, you know there. Yes. Right? And then we're going to take our potatoes and our okras and just add them in. To allow these to steam halfway before we add our before we add our fish. Right. Cover this and make that one simmer. Then we're going to go outside to our grill. Mercy. We want to say grill grill. See all our nice little lights here. Oh my gosh, show them lights. Show them lights. We have some canola oil cooking spray. It's not ready. Look at that cover. Yes, you want that cooking spray party. <laughs> We're spraying so it doesn't stick. Alright, just like so. Mm -hmm. We're going to take our whole fish, lie down, lay them down. Mm -hmm. Lay them down. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now we just want to spray that right on top. Mm -hmm. Then we close. We're going to leave, head back inside just to check what we have on the stove. And make it ready. Oh, wow. I'm pleased to say this is bubbling quite nicely. Oh gosh, look at that coconut milk. We have these bugs all over the place. Bugs are flying in from everywhere. From every angle. Maybe we should have put a piece of this in our panic. Majesty. Show the majesty to us. Majesty chain. Yeah? Yeah. Listen, we're in this chain all the while. You know what it means, majesty. Bastard. Did they watch TV? Just flying fresh on Jamaica. Anyways, this has been going on. Potato is just about al dente by now. I'm just going to lay these little steaks right in there. Right? Perfectly on top. Yes, see there? My gosh, the beauty. You know, we're all about the style, all about the flavors, all about the presentation. So we're laying those on top, and then what we're going to do now, we're just going to cover, cover them and allow to simmer. But then that means also that we have to rush to the grill. Open up and then because you know these have been going for a while. Hold on, we left my beer. on the grill but I'm really happy that they are not sticking and that's because of the because of the olive oil that we had put on I think we, we don't put too much cooking you know how them shake smells amazing man. oh gosh yeah. they, they do I find that the grill and fish actually really heavy 
Yeah, man, they, they look at it. They don't want more than five minutes left on the river. Look at them. Go in and show them. Please, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, man. Well, man. If you can't flip, just use your hot and turn it on, man. But since we can't flip, we are just going to flip. Yeah. Beautiful sauteed veggies there. We're just going to literally just pour all of that over our one from the grill. Fish puts on that plate over here. You see, very few of this stuff, but remember, so we're not in the yard. So we're using what we have. We still have to make it look fancy and nice. One family style plate. Same thing on the fish. Then we are practically done. Yeah? We're gonna make it bubble down a little bit, simmer down, control your temper. Yeah, done, we done. I lose character too. Don't like how it is crunchy and nice. I think it's time to remove the fish. Not quite as high as Jaron's clip, but it's a flip nonetheless. It's doing the job. What's happening? Flip is a flip. Straight outside, just to remove the fish from the fish. It's done to be on fire. I don't know. Yeah. It's a nice little nice and flavor. Let's just get it on. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised how much the whole up together. Yeah, don't break apart. I was thinking about that earlier. Bonnet, look at that. Oh my god, we did it again. Even halfway across the world, we go fishing, we catch the fish, we bring it home, and with our limited resources right here in our foreign kitchen, we made it happen. Look at it jerk infused amberjack fillet with some sauteed veggies, some broccoli, and carrots. Then we have a nice steamed amberjack fillet, scotch bonnet, thyme, scallions, garlic, the whole works right here looking phenomenal Geronimo's kitchen from my kitchen to your tables to your screens Sheldon Townsend follow the man Majesty Boss is here too we're having a grand time over here in Miami we catch it that's the best part we caught it and I'm sure it's going to be delicious you to like this video subscribe to my channel subscribe to Sheldon's channel and yo turn on the not notification bell share it with your friends because you don't know say A class stuff man a glass of bad pizza.
You like it? Yeah. Small one.